Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Mizzy Creations YouTube channel. I'm Mizzy and welcome back to my second tutorial video in my series of glycerin or melt and pour soap tutorials. Now in my last video we discussed how to actually create a bar of soap so if you need to refer back to that or if you didn't see it yet that's fine I will put the link in my description below. So my friend recently bought a house and as a welcoming gift I figured that I would make him a basket full of like little hand soaps for his bathroom and he is a freak about everything being mango scented so for this video we are going to create little um, mango bars. So I chose to use this as my mold. It's just little um, cute flower shaped hand soaps. I like this because they're very small so they're perfect for the bathroom and then they could stack easily like you can make them really cute like as a gift. But I'm not sure if you can see in the video, I do have spots here that have like old grease on them. If you end up with this, please wash it or simply buy a new one because it will actually ruin your bar of soap. Not only is it sticky because it's old, but if it forms up too much and it's like really thick, then it can actually like put dents or bubbles in your soap and you don't want that. So anyways, um, I decided to go with a peach mango scent uh, fragrance oil. And there is a difference between fragrance oil and essential oil. I will discuss that in a second. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I um, store my, my scents. I put them in a baggie with the, the title on it of what it is. And I keep them all together standing up in a box because you want them separated because um, when they're all together, and I did do this once, I put them all in the same bag. Um, after just even a day, like that aroma is not too pleasant. So basically, um, essential oils are 100% natural and they can be expensive, but sometimes they aren't. Like there's um, an almond oil essential oil that I bought and it, it was only like five, five or six bucks I think because almonds are pretty common. But then if you want something more extravagant like rose petal essential oils, that could be as much as $300 for a 3 ounce bottle. A fragrant oil just means that it is partially natural and then mostly synthetic. Now along with the fragrance oil, we are going to be using store-bought synthetic colorants as well. So this is a very, very light orange and this is a red. I'm going to be using these together, mostly on the orange and then a dab of red to create the orange effect that I want for this, this mango soap. So just like the oils, there are different types of colorants and some are natural and some are synthetic. It's up to you which you choose to use. The difference though is you cannot buy like natural colorants in the soap aisle of the craft store like you could like with essential and fragrance oils because natural colorants are actually things that you find naturally. For example, um, to get like a really nice like peachy kind of color, um, you could use paprika, just ground up paprika that you would buy in the spice aisle and then you could just swirl it into your soap, mix it all in good and then it actually creates a really nice orange color. So for now we're going to keep it simple and I'm just going to use the store bought uh, fragrance oil and colorants. Cut up your soap, prepare your mold and have your colorants and scent handy. Heat up your soap in intervals of 10 seconds. After it is fully melted, you can add your colorants and scents. Definitely take your time with this process. It's okay if your soap starts to harden while you're still getting your color right because you can simply put it back in the microwave. You might have to mix multiple colors together to get the color that you're looking for. Add as much fragrance oil as you wish. Mix everything into the soap very thoroughly. Gently pour into the mold. Repeat all of these steps until your entire mold is filled. Spray with rubbing alcohol and allow to sit for one to three hours. If your soaps don't pop right out, place it in the freezer for another half hour. Your soaps are ready to use. Enjoy!